in our previous class we have defined resistivity now in another way we will try to define resistivity so as to what the resistivity is now r could be written as rho l upon a and now if this length of the conductor is made as 1 meter and area is 1 meter square then r becomes r is equal to rho 1 meter upon 1 meter square mathematically 1 upon 1 is 1 so 1 into rho is rho and rho is equal to r so in this case you can understand it this way that a conductor whose length is 1 meter and area is 1 meter square that conductor will be the unit cube that can be shown here this is a conductor whose length is 1 meter breadth is 1 meter also its height is 1 meter so this is one unit cube rather one uh, meter cube of a material now if we are able to measure the resistance that is present between the opposite phases of the unit cube of this material that resistance in ohms will be numerically equal to the resistivity in ohm meters so another way i can define this that resistivity in ohm meters is numerically equal to that resistance in ohms which is present between the opposite phases of a unit cube of a material this is a material and uh, we have its conductor the length of the conductor is 1 meter breadth is 1 meter and also its height is 1 meter so a conductor whose length breadth and height all the three dimensions are 1 meter 1 meter 1 meter each that will be unit cube of the material between the opposite faces of the unit cube of material if you find out the resistance in ohms exactly that will be numerically equal to resistivity in ohm meters this was another way that we, we could define resistivity now to find out its dependence okay, resistivity depends on what so once again i will write r is equal to rho l upon a i also could write it like this that r is rho is equal to r into a upon l with this expression i was always telling that resistance is directly proportional to length and resistance is inversely proportional to area of cross section similarly if i write this expression like that then if i can try to rather let me tell you okay we can understand it in the wrong way that resistance resistivity is directly proportional to area of cross section and inversely proportional to length no that is wrong and this is the concept which is most widely misunderstood this resistivity is numerically equal to resistance only when the area is 1 meter square and length is 1 meter so resistivity of a material can be measured only when i am giving able to provide you a conductor of that material whose length must be 1 meter and area must be 1 meter square i cannot ask you like this okay i have 2 meter long conductor and half meter in area half meter square is the area find out its resistivity that we cannot to find out the resistivity of a material we need to have uh, one meter long one meter broad and one meter high that is unit cube of a material so we need to say and this is most widely misunderstood as i have already told you so you can say resistivity of a material can be measured only when its area is 1 meter square and length is 1 meter so you can say it does not depend on length and area please do understand resistivity of a material does not depend on its length and area because when both these dimensions area has been specified as 1 meter square length has been specified as 1 meter in that condition resistance between the opposite faces of a unit cube of that material that resistance in ohms is numerically equal to its resistivity in ohm meter so you have to say it that resistivity of a substance does not depend on length and area it is independent of length and area it depends only on two things that one is the nature of the material and another one on the temperature in our next class you will see how it depends on nature and material